So we have a nursery material, juniper, pre-bonsai material that we're going to be repotting, wiring, and turning into a finished bonsai tree. This is the ceramic pot that I've selected to use. It's a nice ceramic pot, but when you're starting your uh, first juniper bonsai, whether it's a first or a more advanced piece, you can choose to use plastic, something a little nicer than that, uh, whatever you choose. But this is a really nice pot. You can see it's stamped. It has the, the location of the manufacturer and the artist there. That's very nice. The tools that you will need to make your bonsai tree is everything here. It's just scissors here. I have these little ones here. Uh, we have a little bit of wire mesh screen that we're going to be using to cover the small drainage holes on the bottom of the pot. And that way the soil can freely, you can put freely draining soil like lava rock. We have our pliers that we're using to cut wire. This is useful for a lot of things, um, shaping wire as well. We have our root rake. This is good for basically just scraping away the excess soil from the roots uh, before we pot our pre-bonsai material into its new pot from its nursery pot. Okay, so, um, Next is our thin gauge wire, and that's just to secure the screen to the bottom of the pot. Then I have my thicker gauge wire, and this is to shape uh, thicker branches on the tree itself. So we're going to start by putting our drainage screen on the bottom of the pot. I cut my plastic wire into two pieces so that we can uh, secure it to the bottom of the pot. And I'm going to take this little square mesh wire and I'm going to cut it in half. To secure the pot. So we're going to put it here. I'm going to put it here on the bottom of the pot. And then I'm going to butterfly the wires like that, like a little U shape, and go through the screen um, and butterfly it again. If there's too long, you make a little circle like so. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. We will take our pre bonsai material and we're going to remove it from its plastic container. In this case, uh, a lot of the excess soil just fell to the side. I'm kind of surprised uh, that there wasn't a little bit more of a root system in here. But it's growing more to this side. I'm actually going to use the soil medium because it's really good organic material mixed with lava rock. So I'm going to rake the excess soil off of the tree and into my little container here, trying to keep the root system as intact as I can. We have a lot of the root system that grew on this side kind of pot bound, but that's where a lot of the root system is. So as we untangle it, we start to find the whole root system. And the idea is to open up the roots as much as possible so we can make them as flat as we can across the base of the pot.
Okay, so we have our material. It's a little pot bound on this side, but we're gonna go ahead and um, just separate the roots as much and try and get them as flat as we can so that we can lay them down uh, against the base of the pot and start to create a wider root system that will create more of a taper in the trunk. The placement of the tree is gonna be right here. So what we wanna do is we wanna to start to lay that root system down um, onto the pot so that you can like get it wide across the bottom of the pot. So we're gonna fill up the roots with across the bottom of the pot. We place a little bit of soil across the bottom of the pot to make our drainage layer. Um, that I want to, I'm, I'm placing as much lava rock as I can find from the soil into that drainage layer. And I'm going to place the tree in the soil and I'm going to work it into the pot. So the tree is happy in its new home. And we're going to pack the soil in. If you find that your tree doesn't have enough roots to hold itself up, or that it's falling over way too much, you can anchor it down. But in this case, I know that it has plenty of healthy feeder roots, and it's going to stay completely straight in the pot, so that's not a problem. And we're just placing it in its new uh, ceramic pot. And this, honestly, for a tree this size, uh, this could be the new home for this tree for the next five years. I would probably even leave it in there longer to really, really work on the trunk and get it thicker. And just so you know, the front is the side that's facing me, guys. I'm using this as our apex. We're going to be wiring these branches across to the side like that, and we're going to wire this front like that. Okay, a little more soil, and we're done with the potting. So I'm going to use this thicker gauge wire to shape that branch really quick. Go ahead and cut off that excess wire. So we'll move it here. And forward to create a positioning there. And we're going to do that with our thinner gauge wire. We have our length of wire. It's uh, generally you want to make it as long as the length of branch which you're trying to wire. 
So I have these two branches here that I'm wiring and that's going to be, um, you know, about, about good enough when we wrap it. So anything excess I can always clip off. So it's perfect. Let me go here. Just wrap around any foliage. Dude. Right, wire it out quick. Go ahead and wrap the other side. Got my view. Okay, so now we'll just cut off our excess wire. And here, since we've been wiggling it around a little, we'll go ahead and repack our soil. Okay, we go ahead and move those branches in give them a little bit more movement and we're good to go so we have there we have our bottom branch that has movement we have our secondary branch and we have a nice apex so we have from nursery material, we have to a nice starter bonsai that you can grow and develop and really, you know, make into something um, worthwhile over a couple years.